Well, it's going on, everybody. It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. Well, FedEx just left and left me three boxes. Now, I'm going to go through and open these real quick and lay everything out, and then I'll time lapse it so you can watch what I'm doing. Um, but then I'll get into the meat of what's fixing to happen. Okay, so you may be saying to yourself, Patrick, what's with all the cameras? Well, I want to do a series. And I'm going to take these basic point and shoot cameras and see if I can do two things. One, take decent photographs with them. Now, the one thing that sucks about all these is they shoot in JPEG and not in RAW which I'm used to shooting in RAW with this camera and my Sony A100. So you have better control over your pictures, the color, the sharpness, and all that over with RAW than you do with JPEG. But I have proven to myself that I can do some things with a JPEG file on um, Lightroom, in which I'm back on Lightroom and Learned it pretty good <clears throat> and coming up with some really good results. <sighs> Coffee. It's early. I stayed up late last night. I'm actually working on another project um, late last night. That'll come out at some point. So anyway, I got these four cameras. Actually, there's a fifth one. And that's this little guy right here. Now this is a uh, Sony Cybershot. I forgot the model number right now. I'll put it down below because I can't see it. I don't have my glasses. Uh, it's a 16.1 megapixel. It's probably the nicer of the bunch. I think there may be one a little bit ni as nice. Um, but it, it's really a nice camera. Matter of fact, I'll throw a picture up that I've already taken with this and edited. But this one will be in the mix as well, um, as far as the what I'm doing. Um, so then the next one is a little so another little Sony. This is a CyberShot. Uh, I'll I'll put the below. I can't see it. I don't have my glasses on, like I said. But uh, this is a neat little camera. I got that sticker off there. Somebody was a. Uh, Hockey fan, I think is what that is. But uh, 7.2 megapixels, so it's not ginormously. Oh, there's a card in it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, we'll have to look at that and see what's on there. It's a 2 gigabyte scan disk. Uh, this is, okay, and something else. A lot of your older cameras back then, Sony especially, was using what they call um, memory sticks. And if you look at them, you think, oh, that's an SD card. No, it's not an SD card. Look at the difference in sizes between the two. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in. How much, how much bigger and how much, how much longer and skinnier it is than a regular SD card. Uh, my A100 uses these things. Um, one day I'll show you how those all work. But... Um, a lot of your older cameras use that particular type of um, stick, memory stick. Now, it does have a factory Sony battery with it, which is really good. Because at the end of this, I'm probably going to end up putting which ones I don't want to keep 
on eBay and getting rid of them. Fires up. You see that? <clears throat> Let's skip all that for now. See if we. Oh! I, mean, I did the wrong thing. Wow. There's the thing. Holy crap. I just realized. There's a viewfinder on this thing. Look. Right there. Instead of looking at the screen, you can look through the viewfinder. This one does not have viewfinder. It's just screen only. But that's pretty, that's pretty neat. Battery needs to be charged. Is there any, any uh, left the things on here? Let's see. Now I'll have to go through and figure out all, how all this works and everything. Oh, there's play. Oh wow, there are still pictures on this thing. Somebody had some bad snow. Don't know her. <laughs> so this came from, if I'm not mistaken, this one came from, uh, oh, ironic. The very sticker that's on that's on the front of this camera they're wearing the jerseys for. So this plate, this, this camera was around the hockey. <laughs> but everything looks like it functions well. Let's see if it extends, the lens extends out and everything. Yeah. Okay. Sounds rough, but old technology. So the next camera is actually in a I have a camera that I'll be throwing in this mix when we do this. We'll try to do two at a time. That way it doesn't drag out over the next couple hundred years. This is actually a uh, Casio. Excellent. This is the model number. I'll put the model number below. But it's 10.1 megapixels. Now it's kind of ironic because I have my wife's old Casio that she actually took to Paris with her when she went to Paris many years ago okay this one's not turning on let's see if the battery's in it battery is in it but is it right yeah may need to be charged that could be the problem too though no i think the battery just needs to be charged looks like it i don't know We'll, we'll dig more into this one. So right now, this is a non-functioning camera. Now, some of these were, and I'll tell you, I bought all these from Goodwill um, online. Let's see, this actually came with the battery charger, so that's a good thing. Yeah, Casio. Let's take a look and see if it starts charging. Could be a bad battery altogether, which... You can get these, you can get replacement batteries all day long on uh, Amazon for next to nothing. 10, 15 bucks. Now, another thing, yeah, she's charging. So, okay. Let's move on. So, the next one I got was a little Canon PowerShot S230. It's written real big on the front, so I can actually read that. Um, let's see, go that way. There's a big battery. Now I'm not seeing, oh wait, huh, it's actually got this factory Canon battery with it. Sweet. Uh, open. Oh, so this particular bad boy actually uses the compressed flash style card. So this is what my Sony uses with one of those other cards in it. Um, which is good to know because I've actually got, now I've got a, com, a complete um, CF card is what they call them as a CF card or compact flash. This is a 256 megabyte. So <laughs> think about that, 256 megabyte. All right, so it uses that. Awesome. Now, do we fire up? We do not fire up. Let me take a look. It's a weird looking plug. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way of charging this camera, which is not a big deal. Once again, look here, you have a 
um, viewfinder instead of uh, wow that is so clear too through there you've got a viewfinder instead of just using the screen and let me let show you the screen that sucker is quite um, quite small but so I don't make this too too much longer okay so here's the other one it's a cannon another cannon I'll put the model number down below oh it comes with two batteries does not have an SD card. It does use SD card. 12.1 megapixels on this one. Woke up. Um, no menu. Oh, there we go. Battery's almost dead. Go figure. But she's working. So let's get into what I'm doing with these. I am going to challenge myself may drag Chloe into this. Let's look and see. I may actually have a couple of these already. But I may drag Chloe into this. And the challenge may be between us both. We're going to take all of our little point and shoot cameras. And see if we can go out into the wilds. Whether it be street photography. Okay, that battery's completely dead. Whether it be street photography. Out in the... Um, woods somewhere camping whatever hiking uh just maybe you know go just different places and we're going to take pictures with these things and then i'm going to ask you guys to look at the pictures and tell me what pictures you think are the best between the cameras so it's just a little social experiment i want to do with these things um The other thing, oh, it fired up. So it was. The battery's just completely dead. So now we have three of the four that are actually working. So I'm going to put this battery back on charge. Now, I will say this too. All four of these cameras sitting, oh, actually, five of these. This one is a little bit more. But all the other four cameras, I have a total of forty dollars in forty dollars this one i think it was this one or it may have been the other other canon one of them was only five dollars paid a little more for the nicer cameras but five dollars so anyway we're going to take these things out we're going to um test them out take some pictures and um, see what we can do with it. And we're going to bring you guys along with it, with us. But uh, it was just something I wanted to do for pure fun um, over the next few, you know, few weeks when it's cold and wintery out, and snowing, and all that good stuff. It probably won't be snowing, but anyway, I just wanted to play with it. This thing's a tank. This little one is a tank. I mean, she's heavy. But uh, I hope you guys follow us along, see what we get. Um, like I said, I'll probably end up selling off a couple of these. I'm going to clean them up a little bit. I had to clean this one up a little bit. It had some, like somebody had stuck tape on it, on the front of it. But, I mean, this thing works like a charm. Um, this is probably one of the ones I will keep for sure. Like I said, you know, you've already seen one picture from this thing. But um, I have a couple more of these point and shoots. Actually, I got three more. Chloe has my old 190, uh, F190, ISHS, whatever it is. And then I've got Heather's first Casio. And then we've got a Nikon that we used to use a little bit. And then we got all these. So we're going to combine them in two or three different videos. And we're going to take them out and take pictures while we're doing our thing. And uh, see what we get out of it. This little experiment. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you <laughs> subscribe, like, and share it. And we will see you on the next one. Be prepared.